Well, with all the talks of beauty tips and treatments for your face and skin, things can get a bit confusing. Here to give us a bit of clarity is Dr. Maya Kato, an ear, nose, and throat specialist, to talk about facial rejuvenation and where to go and how to really, you know, scout it out. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Brian. Thank how you are so you? much. I'm very well, thank you. Good, I'm glad to have you here. So we hear about Botox and all of these fillers and such. What is it, what do we have to learn about? Tell me how this works. Well, I think, you know, that since Botox came onto the market in 2002 as a cosmetic injectable, we've seen a huge rise in in-office cosmetic procedures. Okay. Prior to that, all we had was surgery, which required a large downtime. Mm -hmm. And people are busy and they're working, and now we have re ways to rejuvenate the face that can literally be done during your lunch hour. Mm -hmm. I see this right here. This is an, uh, an example of Botox right there. I can see it right his eye, right? Correct. So in this photo, um, this gentleman, we're looking at before and after photos. On the left-hand side of the screen is his before photo, and on the right-hand side is his after. He is smiling in both pictures, and his crow's feet, which are the lines that extend from the corner of the eye out towards the hairline, right. are deeper and more prominent. After Botox, you see that he still has those lines, but they're just softer. I see. I and this is, to me, a way to do good Botox, where he st you don't have a frozen look. Mm -hmm. We still know that he's happy and smiling, but we've just made things softer. It looks natural. Um, okay, so this is kind of important to me. So I've had plastic surgeons on before and uh, different types of doctors. Uh, Botox parties I've heard of. There's so many options. How do you find the right person to, to do? I mean, we're talking about your face. Correct. You know, right. who do you find? How do you find them? How do you well, find you? I think that's an, a very important question, Brian. Um, so when you're choosing an injector, there are many different levels of injectors. You have physician injectors, and there are nurse injectors, and there are other extenders. So when you're choosing an injector, it really is important that you know the criteria and the qualifications of the person who's doing your injection. So I would look at where did they go to school? Mm -hmm. where did they, what university did they train at? And then the most important thing, what is their focus what is their specialty area of focus? I like this, go on, go on. So that somebody who is an ear, nose, and throat doctor such as myself, we've spent our entire our entire career Focused on, on this. the face. Right, okay. I mean, you know every single nuance, crack, crevice, all of it. Absolutely, nose, sinus, you know, facial beauty, all of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and that's very, it's a very different background in training and la level of expertise than somebody who maybe doesn't have that specialty area of focus. Right, such as, right. you know, a vein doctor or a urologist, which is an awful example, but. Right. <laughs> um, so who is a good candidate for con cosmetic injectables? Who's a good candidate? Pretty much anybody. Okay. okay. The aging process actually starts when we are in our 20s. And it's important that we understand how the face ages. Why do we have wrinkles? It's not just because of the skin. It's because we lose volume in multiple layers mm -hmm. of our face. Mm -hmm. So that our bony skeleton starts to regress as we get older. We have fat pads that in our youth volumize our face, but those fat pads shrink down and then gravity pulls them down. I see. And then we have the changes in the skin. So it's multiple levels. So pretty much everybody over the age of 30 would be an excellent uh, candidate for these injections if they choose. I was offered uh, Botox. I got a gift certificate a couple years ago. I was scared to use it, but I think I'm at that time now. I'm gonna come see you. Okay. All right, you can find Dr. Maya Cotto, MD at 36867 Cook Street, Suite 103 in Palm Desert. Give her a call, 760-610-5558, or find her online at drmayacotto.com. Big thanks to Dr. Maya for being here, and we'll see you after the break. Okay, thanks, Brian. Thank thanks you. Thank you so much. Thank you.